Hi everyone, I wanted to say hi, <laughs> my little uh, reading glasses, before we started. So today we're doing the blue bunting. Sorry for the shaking when I'm holding my phone with one hand, that's what happens. So now I'm going to switch you to um, the canvas and I will show you all the paints that we're using today. And um, here we go. I'm going to switch you now. Sorry if it's going to shake a little bit. Just going to... Getting better at this, how to set up my phone where you can have a clearer image. I'm going to lock this up. Oh, it was locked out. That's why I was having problems. Here we go. And I'm going to put my power in there. Sorry, that's going to shake a tad. Okay. Hopefully that's not... I'm going to tighten this up a bit. Okay, that's what happens when I move. I try not to move it. Okay, so um, I'm, I want to talk to you about um, uh, yesterday um, I did a painting um, on, um, okay, I'm trying to see the video so that I can uh, make sure that I'm always aligned with you guys. So just... Uh, here we go. Okay, so now I might not see your comments right away, guys, because uh, I'm um, um, I'm filming from the top. So um, I want to show you this painting. Um, it's a video I did online of this painting, and I want to show. Um, yesterday we did with retarder, and I want to show you how it looks. Once it's dry all around, I did that yesterday. Um, if you guys are interested in this video, how to do it, it's on my YouTube channel that I shared yesterday again. So it, it uh, it's just to show the people because um, you see the, here it's not completely dry. There's a little glare because it's very hard to see um, a retarder when it's wet because it's kind of like um, an oil and it, it makes your... Um, uh, it transfers your acrylics kind of into oil, so you have more time to work with it. So now I'm going to show you the paints that we're going to be using today. So we have um, Apple Orchard, which is, which is a light green, so use whatever light green that you have. We have Thicket, which is a dark green, and then I have a dark brown and as you see, it's like a chocolate, uh, milk chocolate brown. For the bird, we have True Blue, which is like that. And then we have, uh, my glasses, Primary Blue, which is kind of a navy blue. And we have White and Black, and that's it for, for our, our painting. So um, I also want to show you my water basin, how much water... I put in there like it's three quarter full on each side and I like to have lots of water because when my paints are full and uh, my brush are full of paints I find it that it, the, the water you know doesn't get as dirty as if I had just like the bottom of the the basin and our brushes so today um, I'm using um, a bristle brush for the bird, uh, for the plume uh, grass. And you guys, if you don't have it, but you have this one, I did a little test this week and this works just as great. And also the tip, if you have a toothbrush, something like this, the tip here works well also to do um, the little edges. And you can also use a bristle brush which I went and put away I'll show you this here is a bristle brush you can also use that on the corner when it's time to do all the little bumpies and um, that's it so now we're gonna start with our background I'm gonna just put these aside so I've preloaded so I have the apple orchard, 
the thicket and the dark brown. So we're going to start, um, I think I like to start sideways. So I'm just going to do it like that. You might not see the whole screen, um, but I'll see when, uh, when I start. So um, dip your brush in water. My brush is very thick, so it, it takes a bit to put water in. Squeeze out the water. We don't want this too watery. Um, if you have artist paint, like uh, Grumbacker or um, Liquitex, which are artist grade paint, then you don't have to worry with the water in your brush. So I'm going to take out the water. I don't want it dry, but just wet a bit. Um, a full cart seems like it's a thick paint. It is a thick paint, but it doesn't have much pigment in it. So that's why um, I don't want too much water in it. So I'm picking up a lot. Can you see that? A lot. I'm picking up some of the dark green. I've had so much in. And I'm going to start just um, brushing it on. And do your edges. I'm not, as you know, I always use the same canvas. I want lots of paint here so then I can go. And, and I've already, like I'm picking up, uh, I'll, you'll see I'll be picking up the light green. I'll call it light green for the ones who don't have the thicket, uh, the um, apple orchard. And that's why here it seems go not too bad because I'm putting, like, it's very heavy. And... And in some areas, I won't even use the dark green. You can, you can make this as you want. And that, now I'm going to put a little bit brown just on the tip of my um, the corner. And I'm going to come here and I'm just going to extend it. And keep in mind that our plume grass is over here. So if you put brown here, it, it, it might just uh, be harder to... Kind of when we do the, the, the plume grass, not to interfere with it. And then we're, we're going to come and we're going to soften that all up. So lots of paint on your brush. You could also do this with your uh, sea sponge. I see at the top here, I don't have much paint. So it's not gliding very well. If it seems like when you're putting it on, it, it kind of stops. That's because you don't have enough paint on. So I'm going to keep going. And this here, what we're doing, we're doing a blurry black, black blah, <laughs> background. <laughs> and uh, the don't be uh, worried if you have if you've put a little bit much on your palette, because we're going to be uh, using it. Uh, we're going to use it for the blades of grass. Now, what I want to do is here and there put some spots of brown because we're we're all going to come and and blurry blur this up. Okay, so I flip my brush, and you want to start at the edge of a, your canvas, going to the other edge of your canvas. So to the edge of your canvas, to the other edge. Now we're going to flip. I have it. I have, look, I have the canvas, the Artist Loft Professional 11. I'm working on an 11 by 14, guys. My original uh, painting I did um, on an 8 by 10. And the brushes that I had put on are all on. So I'm going to, the brush are, are that I gave you uh, on the list will is perfect for an 8x10. You might have to adjust your brushes on a bigger canvas. So, okay, so I want this a little bit more blurry. I don't want spots like that. So I'm gonna come and extend it. And it's feather light. Okay, I'm going to put some more green because look, it's doing these little white spots there. It's because I don't have enough paint. The paint started to dry. 
I find that um, full coat dries very fast on you. And you can put it as blurry as you want it. And I think um, I'm going to stop right here. Just going to add very gently to hide that white here. So I'm barely pressing to hide this. Okay, so now I'm going to flip my canvas. And I'm going to put my brush. That's kind of a kind of um, a big spot here. See if I can just come like that, barely, barely, barely touching. Barely, like feather, feather light. I might just have to feather, feather light. Barely, barely touching. Okay, putting my brush in the water. I always put my brush in the water on the ridges side. Okay, so now uh, we need to dry this. So I'm going to dry this at high speed. Take your paint out of there, out off your table, so you don't dry it up because we're going to need uh, the brown, we're going to need the green. Because we're working with thick paint, um, it's uh, going to take a dip to dry. So, so I might put my canvas actually to show this here on the other side. Just because I find that pretty cool. Okay, so I'm just drying it. I want it really dry because my hand is always on my canvas and I'll, I'll get paint all over my hand and then transfer it all over my, uh, my canvas. But it's better because we're not working uh, wet on wet uh, much after this. For the bird, we might work wet on wet. Yeah, we'll be doing more wet on wet. So that's why I want this dry. I did this painting about, I don't know, maybe two, three weeks ago. And I keep painting and painting, so I kind of really have to think back to what did I, how did I do this? <laughs> My brain goes all over the place. See, because, um, I don't know if you see it here, there's little waves. That's because the paint had started to set and I went over it again. So I kind of moved the paint, so it kind of made a, uh, a little wave there. Okay, now I'm going to flip it and I'm going to see which side I want it on. My edges are really wet. Yeah, I think, I think this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this side. So now we're going to do our plume grass. So we're going to need to load, load some of your white. And we're going to use the fan brush. The fan brush we do not wet in the water. We don't fill it with water. We use it um, dry, dry brush. So now I'm going to load the brown. And I'm going to load the white. So in order for the plume to show, um, I, need, I need to have some, uh, uh, like the white plumes for them to show. We need to create um, uh, like a, a dark. We need dark for the light to show. Today there's no patterns, guys. Well, online there is. I don't. I don't work with patterns anymore. So we do everything freehand. So now, as you see here, the plume, the white plumes, they come. They start kind of here, you know, and we go. So and and they go in like falling in 
in the, you'll see, it's kind of a, a half moon. So I'm going to start kind of, it's off the, the, the side a little bit. So I'm going to come and I just tapping. I'm just tapping. And I, and I keep going up and I'm going to load as I need to. And I want the plumes to kind of go, you know, be bigger here, you know, and and these, uh, I want to say also thank you to my brother who took this photo. Um, it's very important if you use a photographer's photo, first to ask permission. Well, I kind of have cap blanche with my brother. Um, ask permission to the photographer if you can use their photo in a uh, in one of your paintings um, I've seen I belong to the photographers of Northern Ontario and, and a lot of um, photographer photography si uh, groups and I, I asked them and you know they all say yes they all you know and then you can send them a picture uh, of the painting you did so now I've just reloaded. And it kind of goes kind of upwards like that. Okay. And it doesn't have to be like that. It's kind of like at the tip. And if you would have a toothbrush, I'm going to load into the toothbrush. Just the tip. And I could come. And just kind of tap here. And I'm, I can still create those little, you know, it, like it's, it's as if the end is very light and airy. And I can do that with the toothbrush. It all depends on how much, how, um, how much pressure you put so you don't put too too much pressure here you could put a lot of pressure going to barely nothing so now I want to bring it up a little bit just a tad a little bit more and our, our brown plume grass is going to go on top of that so I'm just bringing it up a bit and I'm barely like it's very lightly touching so I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger here and you can make them as you can make them pretty much the way you want it. Okay, so now I'm gonna come and put my white highlight. I'm working with a dirty brush all the way. When we even when we go into the do the brown plume, I'm working it with a dirty brush. So now I'm gonna come and I'm gonna start putting highlights. As you see, the highlights are here. I'm not hiding the brown under because we want dimension. So don't hide your brown. Uh, my white is on this side. I don't want too, too much white. I don't want big blobs. And I'm not necessarily going on top of what is there already. And I'm barely, barely touching. If you shake, this is even better. Because when you shake, you're, you're not um, so specific. And I'm just, I'll do that everywhere. What it does is it kind of makes, it gives a dimension um, that it's not so dark here, that it's light. I'm going back, going back into the clean white here. And I'm just taking some off so I don't get like huge uh, blobs on it. And I'm not necessarily, like I say, going back into um, on top of the ones that are there. What it does, it, it kind of makes the white come up front and the, the um, colored one, the light brown one, are in the back. They're blurry, so they're not as much detailed. So I'm going to come here and... Add some. It's kind of white like that, and it's all you see. I'm, I'm, the way you you hold your brush. I'm holding my brush like that, and it's kind of flat and kind of going towards 
the the corner and you, you I don't know if you can hear it so I'm gonna uh, maybe just a tad more white it doesn't need like a whole bunch of white we're gonna see when we do our uh, our darker plume grass and this photo was taken in Windsor but um, a couple of years ago um, I had that bird in my feeder in northern in caps casing so you know these birds sometimes when they migrate they stop they eat and then I've never seen it since so it was here only only once that I saw it I kind of like to paint you know things in our area but um, we're going to be painting a cardinal soon, which I've never seen in our area, but cardinals, they're so beautiful. So now I want to go do, that's it for me. I'm not doing more than that. So I'm going to go put a tad of black in my palette. I'm working with a dirty brush. And the dirty brush with the white, it's just going to give me uh, another dimension and just maybe a tad of black, not too much black to start off with. And I'm going to come and I'm going to kind of just go like that. And actually, um, I kind of went ahead of myself here. I wanted to do some blades of grass here and here just tiny little ones and make sure you go over your edge here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put my brush away and we're going to go do some blades of grass so i'm going to take um my uh, this is about like a three eighths and i'm going to go into i want to do the blades of grass that go behind so I'm going to take my thicket and I'm just going to start here in the corner. Oh, not enough. Oh, maybe a tad, 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 tad of water, not too much. And I'm just going to come here and I'm going to let it go over there. And it's okay if you see through it. Okay, so that one, a tad of water. And which other one? There's one behind here. I'm just going to tap it in a little bit here and there so that it looks like it keeps going. Okay. Um, I think that's it for behind. The rest we can do after. So I'm going to put my brush in the water. And I'm, now I'm going to keep going. As you see, I shake. And it's okay. It, it doesn't matter. As long as, you know, I'm, I'm having fun painting. So I'm, I'm just going to keep going and tapping it in. That's kind of dark. I kind of have a lot of black. So now I'm just going to go into just the brown and play with it. It might be different. It's all about how you load your brush. And here, I don't want to hide all of the, the, the white that I've put on already. So some, some might be taller. Uh, you know, here they might go further. So I'm going to just keep putting it on. And some will go on top of the bird. So some I won't do uh, as much right now and it's good to make sure that we have some light browns in the back so that it shows like um, a dimension when we put black it it just um, uh, it it's behind so I'm just gonna go up and I'm gonna start curving because those we have those plume grass around here also uh, guys, because I've seen them, and it 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 always uh, I've I love those. And here, what I want to do, like it's not, it's as if it's not completely open. It's like a bud that is opening. So I want to make 
just here, just tap on, I'm working on this corner here, because that's where a lot of my paint is. Okay, and then there's, a, and I'm going to do it a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to reload into my, um, my brown and a tad of black in, in my uh, paintbrush. And this also is not quite opened. And then we're going to leave a space. Well, the bird's going to be sitting kind of in between this one and that one. So I'm going to come and um, do where it's going to sit. It's kind of light for now. And now uh, look at your painting. Do you have, do you want your plume grass to be, I'm going to reload a little bit of my dark brown. Do you want your plume grass to be um, uh, fuller? Okay. If so, all you have to do is kind of come. And you don't have to have it the same everywhere because nature doesn't work that way. And here I kind of want some kind of peeping out there. Okay, now I'm going to come in and put some, um, some shadow in here. So I'm going to pick up more of my um, dark brown and a bit of black. And if you look on this one here, it has a bit of the black. This one has black, and it, this one has more black, and we've already put some on. So I'm just going to, I'm going to start with, with these here, um, since I have more black on it, and make sure that you do your, your stem here with the black, and just tap in it in. There's no sp special way or anything, you, we just want to tap it in, and it's, that's when it's going to start giving us a dimension. And as we go up, it might not be as detailed. So I'm going to reload a bit. I'm, I'm feeling that my brush is a bit dry. And I'm going to... I'm going to see how dark that is. And I'm barely touching here. And I'm kind of going crooked here. You know, kind of sideways. Whoops. Okay, it has black. So I'm going to do it this way here. Kind of like that here. Because it's not as detailed. It's not as open as the other ones. I'm picking up some white here. So not, um, not, um, not that I want you to pick up white. It's just that my brush, because it has white on the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to go a, a tad more in my darks. As I'm tapping, I'm also creating like a different color because I have the the, um, the brown on it. And so it's kind of making a, um, a dirty brown. And I can go just a tad over the edge here. It doesn't have to have like a specific branch under I'm kind of, you know, making some little peep out kind of thing. Okay, so now beside it is kind of a plume grass that has not opened yet. So we're going to go do that. So not as much, I'm always working with a dirty brush, not as much maybe as, uh, as dark as these. It's there, we know it's there, so I'm just going to come in here on the side and decide okay so it's about this high don't have to have the specific height you just want to create it and then on top here you want it like kind of here like that here just barely touching and then we want to kind of go in an angle like that and when there's going to be a a, a, a blade of grass that g crosses over. Now we want to do, there's also um, that white one. 
that hasn't opened yet. So with my dirty brush, I'm going to go into my white, and it's going to be kind of like a dirty brown kind of thing. So I'm going to put it here, and that one's not as high. It's not as open, and I'm just going to keep going down. Okay, now I'm just going to take my white. I'm going to come and whiten it just a tad of white just to give it a bit of dimension because it's it's um, kind of the sun might be shining on it so it has a little shine I'm gonna reload my white a little bit more and that's pretty much what I'm gonna do I find that this needs a little bit more white so I'm, that's when you know when you've got your 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 plume done that's when you can go in and re-add a little bit of the white. So I'm just going kind of on the corner. I'm trying not to press too hard, just so that I can add it. And if it starts, see, I'm starting to get more brown instead. So, you know what, I'm, um, I might use... I'm going to use a bristle brush to show you. Um, this is the bristle brush, just to show you how it works with doing my white. So I need to load more than what I had. So this is how much I'm loading. And I'm going to be very gentle. See, so I'm very gentle because I don't want to create big blobs. And this is by creating these little spots here and there. It makes your plume grass look more airy. So here we are. I'll keep going. Because I want it to look like it's floating. It's just flowing in the wind. And might get some spots that are white that's okay I'm not gonna stress it's just a flower nothing is stressful and here the blade of grass see I'm I just hid where it started perfect so even if I put it after it doesn't show okay so I'm gonna come again in my plume in here where my grass started I'm just gonna come there we go just by doing a bit on top of the grass I just put it behind now it's in the background and here too I just want to it to touch a little bit oh here it might not show very much because our birds gonna be sitting there okay let's see how that you can put it as white as you want I think it looks it has the fluffy uh, feeling that I want now I'm gonna come and put some here a little bit so I'm just kind of going here and there. It's wet, so it might be hard to come and put white on top of it. And you want it to be kind of like it's textured. And don't hide all the, the brown because it, it's giving it the appearance that some is in the back. And, and this here, well, I can come and put... A, a little bit of black in there like the brown I'm gonna take the brown and a bit of black just maybe to give it a little bit of dimension here not very much it doesn't need much it just needs to be as you see here I'm just kind of okay we're gonna dry and um, then we're gonna do the rest of the, the uh, blades of grass but I want everything to be dry uh, it doesn't take very long to dry and thick it when it's uh, dry it shines my mine anyway does that so sometimes it's it's a misconception that it looks like it's wet and it's not and this is pretty dry uh, my white here it's a little bit wet, so I'm going to do that. 
And then we add blades of grass everywhere. So since my background is a little bit dark, I might have to um, add a bit of the thicket to my, uh, my light green when I do the blades of grass for it to pop up. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the blades of grass on this side here so I don't get my hands through it. <laughs> So I'm going to take um, the ones that I already had for the this blade of grass. So me, it's my 3-8 brush. It, it was in the water, so I'm just kind of taking the water out. So I'm going to take um, my thicket because now what I want to come and do, I want to come and do this one here. Uh, actually, this one here is behind. This one here is behind. So let's do them in sequence. So I'm going to come and do this one here first. So I'm filling up my brush on both sides. And I'm just going to come. It can be anywhere. It doesn't have to be a specific way. And here's that blade of grass. Now I'm going to go do, um, I'm going to do this one here. So this one here, I kept the thicket in. And I'm going to come kind of in the corner and load actually and what I'm gonna do is I want to use I don't want to put out more more of the of the apple orchard so I I'm look here so I loaded kind of on the chisel the chisel is this point here that's the chisel okay so I'm gonna come and do this blade of grass which is on top of this one okay and they don't have to be like mine. You know, make, do yours. The next blade of grass, I'm going to do them in sequence of how they appear. Okay? So, my next one is, is beside, uh, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So, I need, actually, there's a sequence to this. So I'm going to come and do this one here, right beside the bird. It's going to come right beside the bird in there. Doesn't have, and you see, you, I'm, you see it, you don't see it. That's okay. It, it, I can, if you don't like that, what you can do is come and put a little bit of the thicket here. Kind of hard to go back over the same one. So see now you you see it, and you see it's transparent. That's okay because um, it you, we're using the background color to do it. Okay, so now I have one here, but that one has white in it, so it's thicket with white. Okay, so it's gonna make it less transparent, like this one here. Okay, that's the one because it's it's under the bird. So we have to do everything that is under the bird before we do the bird. So this one I'm starting over here. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to start twisting. Like going on, on just my my point. And and that's okay. It can So see now I have a different shade of blade of grass. And there's also the same color here. I'm going to put a little more thicket. And now I'm going to do, okay, this this going to end up being on top. So I'm going to do, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to do this blade of grass. That one, we don't know where it finished. That one, I'm going to add a bit of, of white to it because it's way too transparent. So I'm going to just add the white to the green, and it makes it, not as transparent and I'm, I'm going to keep going with the thicket in the weight and I'm going to come see I'm using my brush in different angles now I'm on the chisel so I'm just like that and I'm just going to come and do this I'm going to reload with thicket and so I just did that one now I'm going to come and do this one here so this one here is just like that, okay? They're going 
we don't see where they finish, which is perfect. So now I want to do, um, there's a blade of grass here that goes that, and it's, um, it's this one here. I'm going to put it on top because I didn't do it before. And since it's light, it's okay to go on top. So I'm going to load with my uh, apple orchard and a dirty brush. I'm not cleaning my brush. It's just helping me to put shadow and highlights on my blades of grass. So I'm, I want to go kind of like here and like that. And what I want to do is maybe a bit more thicket, a bit more of the apple orchard. And I'm going to go back on top of it because I want it to show a tad more. And finish in a point if you can. Okay. I'm going to have to reload a little bit of my apple orchard. Because I want it a tad more. So I think I'm going to start kind of like here. And very gently pressing. Because I really want it to show on top of these blades. Which now it does. So now I'm going to come. So it's just more uh, apple orchard with the thicket. And I'm going to come and do... And do this one here on top of everything. So it's just a tiny blade of grass. And I'm going to, I don't have to start it where you can start your blade of, of grass wherever you want. It's just a blade of grass. It's not set in stone, you know, how it has to be done. And this here, I'm just going to come and kind of, so now we can see it's on top. And if we don't see it that much, you can add a little bit of thicket to it. I'm going to try to go and lightly press and here we go. So now um, now I'm going to I'm going to do one okay so I'm going to do one right here I kind of should have put that one first and I'm going to twist and off it goes so because, and make sure you go to your edge where it should start, I'm going to go over. Here we go. So now I'm going to reestablish this one. There we go. So now I just put it back on top. So that's what you do when you put blades on top. If you forgot, like I forgot to put that one. Well, all I have to do is retouch it. And here I want to touch it. And it's okay if it's not, you know, the same color. There's variation because blades of glass of grass, when um, the light hits it, it'll hit some spots and not other spots. So, you know, let's let's don't worry about that. Um, the only thing I want to make sure is that the bottom here, you really go to the edge. Make sure that they are at the edge. Okay. And same with this corner one here. Make sure it's at, you you know, so it doesn't look like your blade of grass is floating. And same thing here. Too much weight. It's very easy to, to work with. And then I'm just going to go like that. And see, um, it's okay if there's more highlights or shadows in, in an area. I went off. Okay. Me, I like mine. Just as is. So if you... We're, we're, we're at the point where we're going to start our bird. So I'm going to put that brush away. We're done. Uh, with this for now, uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna dry it so I don't have green all over, and we're gonna start with our bird. We, you're gonna need your chalk or a white pencil. So dry, dry, dry. And 
And um, as I explained in the painting of, uh, in uh, when I compared the paints, when we did the chit chat at the end, uh, I haven't sketched in over 25 years. This blue bunting is my first sketch that I've done in since 25 years. So. Um, Mine might be shaky, it might be, or I'm going to try uh, to make it as realistic as I can. So there's no, uh, there's no, no uh, putting tensions on yourself because, hey, we're, we're doing a, uh, a uh, free hand bird. It's going to be what it's going to be. And... You know what? <laughs> I'm I'm going over my hand here, trying to figure out what's what's wet, what's dry, and I'm I'm going over the wet. Um, we're gonna adjust our bird as we paint it. We're gonna first we're gonna do our sketch, and then we're gonna paint, and we're gonna adjust with our paint. And if our bird is off a little bit, well, we can take the background color and reshape it. Like it's, there's there's no limit on what we can do. Oops, guys, be careful. I'm telling you, the thicket is very, uh, it's hard to see if it's dry or not. Okay, I just want to make sure that I have some uh, heavy spots here. And I know I'm going to have my hand right here. So I'm just going to touch instead of, yeah, that's almost dry. This is almost dry. We want it dry because we don't want the blue to mix with the green or the brown. And then if we need to add shadows here, we will after. Because we need to come and add, the tail is hiding behind the plume, so we're going to come and put some plume back on top of the bird, of the tail. Okay. Okay. So now that is dry. I don't want it too hot. So now we're going to come and do our bird. So we're going to think of our bird as shapes instead of a bird. Okay, so mine is sitting right here. So I'm going to start with the body. So I'm going to start. And it's, these bunting birds are the size of like a finch. Uh, the, those yellow birds that you see outside. The only reason why this is so big because the the photo was taken up close, so it kind of looks like a big bird, and it's not. It's a little bird. So now all I want to do is kind of do his back, so kind of a curve, um, kind of a curve without curving inside, just like that, okay? And then the head. The head is, I kind of, I think I'm going to start here. The head is kind of going like that. I'm going to make sure that you guys see that. I think my paint is, okay, this way here, okay? And it's kind of going in a circle and coming down, okay? Now the beak, the beak is, 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 okay, I'm going to, see, now we can play with it. This is what's fun, is I can play with my painting. So this is the, the part that I like the most about a chalk, is that it's not set in stone because we didn't put our paint yet. So I'm going to do the beak. As you see, the beak, kind of it's kind of curvy a little bit. Then it's going to be like a semicircle here. So it's all about shapes. So the beak is almost like a triangle. You don't want it down too, too much. And then I'm going to come in. I'm going to curve it a little bit. Then I'm going to curve it here. Give it a good curve. And then its stomach. Its stomach, you can make it as round as you want. It, it could be kind of um, all fluffed up. 
You know, sometimes the birds do that. And then the tail, the tail, you might not see it very well. It kind of comes, um, uh, where's the body? Okay, I don't want to go too far off. The body is here, so the tail kind of over here. And it's kind of a, a V here coming straight down. Okay? And the tail ends in a V. We're going to see this a bit better. So now I'm going to start painting. And actually, I think this here, the beak is not big enough. So this is when you're going to start playing with it. And I'm going to come down like that here. I think I like that better. See how much, how fun. And I'm going to bring this up a little bit. So it's a curve, and then there's the back, and the head is almost straight. And this, guys, is a good way to practice, and practice with uh, a pencil and a paper. Um, and the more we practice, the better we're going to get. So now I'm going to take my true blue out. I'm going to load my true blue, which is the base coat of the bird. I'm putting down a lot because my bird's a bit bigger. And then I'm taking that um, primary blue, which is almost like a navy blue. It's going to help us do our shadow. And then I need a tad of black. So I'm going to put a tad of black here. I'm also going to need a bit of the white because the beak and actually, I'm going to, well, my white is pretty dirty from the other palette. So I'm just going to come, oh, look what I just did. So I'm just going to come, I'm going to get a palette. I'm going to pick this up. And I'm going to take a rag with water, a little bit of water in it. And I'm gonna come and wipe it gently, gently, because if I go too hard, I'm gonna take the paint under from under. And very gently. There we go. So it's all doesn't show anymore. So that's how you correct something. But it has to be dry. The one reason why this works so well, because it's dry. Okay, so now let's start with the bird. I have a lot of white on my palette. Now I have white everywhere. So I'm taking my, my, um, my true blue and I'm loading my brush. I didn't put it in water. And it, we're kind of going to work with two colors at the same time. Okay, so we're going to start here. And here, um, I'll be able to adjust my beak if my beak is not long enough. And I think it's not. But when I paint, I can adjust. Okay, so we're going to put the blue in. And I'm going to go to the edges. And I'm, I'm trying not... I'm, I want it crisp, so... This is not my probably best brush to do this. And I'm not going to do the beak right away. I just want to create. Uh, and then I'm, I'm dipping into the primary blue, just the corner. Okay, because I'm going to come here. And I'm going to start putting some shadow. And as I come down, there's a curve here. And it's okay, you don't have to go, if you're using a chalk, you don't have to go over um, the white because the white chalk, you just take a, a rag that's a little bit wet and it comes off right away. So now I'm gonna come and load back into my true blue. And uh, oh, I knew I was gonna do that. Thank God I saw this, look at that. Because me, I put my hand on my palette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the white off of there so I don't do that again. Okay, so 
Um, I've got a lot of weight on my brush. I'm going to wash my brush because I picked up a lot of weight, which I don't want. All we want is true blue and a bit of the darker blue. So I'm going to come on the corner. On This time I'm not, I went on the right corner. Now I want to go on the left corner because I want to go do under the throat, the throat area here. Okay. Um, would you like me to zoom in for you? Here we go. So we're zooming in. I'm going to zoom you in a lot so that you guys can see the complete bird. Okay, so now I'm going under, and I might have to readjust this, okay? And I'm going under the belly, and I'm keeping it as a curve over here. Everything's curves, and I'm going to go in a bit. So I'm going to reload into my true blue, picking up the darker blue, and maybe a tad, a tad, 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 like a, a tiny little drop of black because the belly area here is dark okay so I'm gonna come and do that and I see here is a good place if I want to add you know make the belly a bit bigger I can do that and I'm going into and the bird the the, um, the grass is in front of the bird so there's no feathers that go on top, okay? So here I'm trying not to touch my plumes. And I think I'm going to make its belly here a little bit curvier. And so I'm going to go back into my true blue, a bit of the, the darker blue. And I'm going to make it curvier right here. And I'm going to increase the belly, like the chest. It's not the belly, it's the chest. Right here, I'm going to give it, I'm going to get it to be more curvy. Okay. And I'm going to increase right here, the chest a little bit. And I'm still going into... Uh, my true blue and the primary blue and I'm going to increase the chest size right here just it takes just barely nothing see this is how we adjust the bird we can start with a smaller bird and increase it as we go and I, I kind of want to make him A little bit more chesty. So I'm turning my brush. Okay, I'm just gonna reload again, and into the the, the your navy, your dark blue. And I want to make it like a bit curvier here, like a big round, a bit rounder. And it's round, so I want to keep it. You know, everything round. Okay. So now I like it like that. So now we're going to go do the back. So I'm going to go into my true blue. And this, is I'm just going to stay true blue here. And then I'm just going to go down. Almost, it's almost like a straight line. Because the bird is looking that way, so um, there's not a, a, it's almost, almost straight. I told you it was a bit curvy, but actually it's almost straight. And I'm trying to go up to the edge here of the plume. Okay. So now um, I'm going to do the tail so that you can see the tail. So again, I'm going into my true blue, and I'm just going to go and kind of, might not go into my, the line I had done. There's, there's kind of his, kind of his body, it feels like it's uh, coming down, and, and the tail is not too, too long, so don't make it too, too long. And then here, it's like a V, 
okay? And now it's coming from over here. And it's kind of like a V up there, okay? And, and we're coming down. And then we'll see if we need to adjust the tail. I need to reload in my True Blue. Okay, we're reloading in the True Blue. And I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible. And we can readjust this. And let's fill it in. Because we're going to come and do our plumes back on top. So it's okay. Okay, I feel like the tail should be wider. I'm going to widen the tail. Fill it up. And I find mine looks looks okay so now what I want to do is I'm going to come and finish the tail right away because it's wet and it's gonna it's gonna work great so I'm going to take some of the primary blue the dark blue and the tad oops sorry so I'm taking the primary blue and the tad of black not a lot of black and I'm mixing them together okay so I'm just creating a darker color and here I'm starting here because this seems like it's part of the feathers that I feel like and I'm coming in and it's more on this side here like we see under the tail this is not the top of the tail it's under the tail okay and then right here there's another shadow here Okay, so we're going to come again um, in our primary blue and a bit more black to blacken this up a little bit more because it's under, it's, there's a lot of shadow in the tail. Okay, so here, oh, I like that better. Okay, and we're coming down to the left side of the bird. And on this side here, right here. Okay, and then right in on like the the um, the wing here or the under of the tail. There's also a little shadow here, kind of a V shadow. Okay, so now I want to wipe my brush a little bit, take off some of the some of the darker paint because I want to come and I want to put a highlight on the tail. So I'm going back into my true blue. Can't see the tail. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. You can't even see the tail. Here we go. So I'm going to redo the tail for you guys. So I'm going into my primary blue and a bit of the black, and I'm mixing it on my palette. And I'm putting the shadow on the left side. And not all the way, like kind of three quarters of the way. Actually, thank you for telling me that you you can't see the tail because um, now I'm I'm putting it a little bit darker and I kind of like it darker. So, guys, the only reason why I see your messages because I'm painting, I'm standing up painting. <laughs> so and also so on on the right side, there's a little bit uh, of uh, shadow and this is also the underside of the tail. It's because the, the way the bird is sitting, it's it's sitting kind of an angle. So instead of seeing the top of the tail, we see under his tail. Okay, so now I'm going to take off this dark paint as much as I can. Because I want to come and do the highlight on the tail. So I'm taking my primary blue and a tad of white. I want to make it like a lighter blue that'll be kind of like my very first highlight not too much paint because i want a, a a thin line this might be my my only highlight so now i'm coming um there's there's kind of a little highlight here see there i have a lot of paint there there's a highlight kind of over here i'm barely barely pressing guys and then i'm gonna come and do highlight over here 
And I'm also coming inside here. Just here and there. See, I'm not going to the edge of the tail. Okay, it's just to give it a dimension. And I'm going onto the edge of the tail. On the other edge where the light hits it. And I'm trying to come down, trying to go and up to here. It's okay if I go over my shadow because it, it's kind of okay to do that because it brings it takes brings your shadow more inside the bird. Okay? So a little bit more here. And then we're gonna cover this up. You know, we're just trying to establish the tail because it's kind of going to show a little bit. So, okay, so I think I'm done with the tail. So now I'm going to come back. I'm going to bring you up again, and we're going to start working on the body. I'm going to go do the beak, okay? Um, the beak is, um, is white. Actually, it's black, and it's under is white and blue. Just like this here. See the top is black, then I painted it the bottom white, and then I put a shadow of the blue under. So now we're gonna come we're gonna come and do this area here, the the, the beak plus the eye and that he has kind of like a little mask around his eye. We're going to come and do that. So we're going to take our liner. We need a liner. This is a one liner. And I'm, I'm, I'm wetting it, but taking, like I wet it, and I'm taking the excess paint off. Make sure you get your ferrule, uh, that tube here, that's a ferrule. Make sure you get that when you take your water out because you might have a droplet that is in there and once you start painting it comes down, it happens to me all the time. And I keep forgetting to do that. So I'm coming into my black. I'm not going to go too, too much. I'm going to turn my brush into my black just to load it a lot, but without, see I'm keeping it as a point. So now let me see um, how I'm going to do the beak. I'm going to put a little bit more water. I took too much water out, so I'm coming back into my black. So it's kind of going to be almost inconsistency, but not completely. So now the beak comes in a curve from the head, and it See, my beak is coming down a lot, so I'm going to straighten it up. This is where you can straighten, it, straighten up your beak. So now the beak, I think I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Not too, too long. Whoops. Okay, take your wet finger. Okay. Going to reestablish my line. And I'm going to come back, reload in my paint. That beak, the inside here, is curvy. So, and it's curvy in the middle of the beak. I don't have enough paint, so I'm going to reload. And the beak is pointy. So make sure that your beak is pointy. And it comes trying to create a curve here. Okay, the top is black. It's going to help me see if I have, and I need to make to make it in the point. Okay, let me see. Okay. Sometimes your brush makes it so that it's not... Okay, so now I'm going to wash my brush. I'm going to... Maybe bring you down a little bit. Make sure that you see. Now, I'm going into my white. Going into my white. And we're, we're going to do the bottom of the beak. 
just because I want to es establish it. And here, um, if I did not create a big curve, I can create one now with, with my white. So I'm going to come. I want to make sure that I am in the point. The, the beak is pointy. And here I'm going to establish. And it kind of goes inside of his head. So I'm coming inside. Okay, so I'm going to actually curve it a bit more into the black. And I want to also come down a little bit. I've picked up some of the black because it's not dry and I went to pick in it, but that's okay. We can, and this comes in a little bit. Give, see that little curve? That little curve here? That's, that's what we need that, okay? And it might be in like a triangle. Okay, so now I'm going to wash my brush because everything's wet now, so it's kind of hard. And I want to go into um, my primary, uh, no, my true blue. And while it's wet, I want to come and do, uh, where's the bird? Okay. So you see under the bird, that blue, I want to come and do that, okay? So I'm coming in, and it's, it's, we're, we're giving the beak a dimension, okay? Oh, this brush is really, hmm, not my best brush. Okay, so now the blue has been established. As you see, it's all crooked, all bumpy. So I'm gonna wash my brush, go into my white, and I'm gonna come and put the white back on. Now that, you know, the, the dark, the black is, is dry, not dry. <laughs> I'm trying to not blow dry as much as possible. And I, I think I'm gonna come a little bit in that blue, tone it down a little bit. Okay, I like that better. So see, I'm toning down my blue. Okay. Washing my brush. Now we can bring in the black. We're gonna establish where his eye is, okay? So his eye is like where it's right there. We barely see it, but you see there's a dot there. We're going to go put that. So take the tip of your brush and we're going to create the eye. You might want a smaller um, tip of the brush. My bird, I'm working on an 11 by 14. So um, the eye is going to be bigger. And I'm going to come, and as you see where the eye is, we're going to come, and I'm going to put the eye right there, okay? So I have a lot of black paint. So now I know um, I'm going to need to readjust things. So I'm going into... Um, I'm going to do this curve okay it has a curve and it comes over here everything is black so we kind of not really see where the eye is until we come and we put a highlight on the eye i'm going to adjust that here and maybe it's a a tad too curvy. You know, there's so much we can do to uh, adjust the bird. Okay, so now I've done the eye. It's very thick. I have a lot of paint. Uh, what I want to do now is go back into, into um, my primary blue. And we're going to 
adjust this black here. And I want to uh, see, I just told you what I do, and I just did it. Um, okay, I'm going to take the water out of my ferro. That's what happens, a big drop falls. And now I just want to come back in a point and readjust. Okay, also this is kind of a curve. So now the beak goes in the curve like that. And our black, our black is going to come. So there's a lot of washing your brush here because we're switching from one paint to the other. Okay, I'm going to make sure there's no water in my ferrule. And I'm going to bring the white higher because I find the beak here, it's, it's not well balanced. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. And just like that. Okay, that is much, 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 much better. Okay. And here I want like a, uh, it's kind of like a circle here. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to take back our primary blue. Uh, sorry, our true blue. I keep, so I'm going to say light blue and dark blue, guys, because it's going to be much easier for me to try to remember the color of my paints. So I'm dipping in the light blue and into the darker blue at the same time. I'm going to come and create just kind of like a shadow under here. And it, it kind of goes under the beak also. Okay, and bring it here. So I'm creating, like the beak belongs to the bird. Okay. And I also want to take, I'm keeping that dirty brush in my, in, and I'm loading, I'm loading like some of the, I'm going back to do the shadow under the beak. And I want to kind of make it, bring it up a bit. And a curve here. Okay. Uh, when everything's dry, you know, the last little things that we're going to do, we're going to come and we're going to do little touch-ups here and there. So now what I am going to do is we're going to start um, putting shadows in our bird. Okay, you still, you guys still see it. Perfect. So I'm going to start creating um, the shadows and all that. So I'm going to take, um, I, I think this time I'm going to take my 3 8 uh, flat brush. And I'm going to come and create the shadow under the belly. So I'm going to take my true blue, my primary blue, and a tad, a tad, a tad of black. Okay, so I have like three colors on my brush and I'm going to come and I'm going to start, um, if you see here, kind of starts uh, uh, up, up here where the belly, the, the chest is maybe a quarter of the way of the chest and coming right down. That's, that gives us, that's how, it, it tells us how the bird is, is kind of positioned. So do I have enough? I don't have enough of the darker blue, a bit of the black, loading, loading. And, okay, I like that better. And I'm walking it. Walking it meaning that um, I'm, I'm extending. It's like I'm doing a shadow under the belly. Okay. And I'm walking it. And I'm going right, right down. And, and that shadow comes like a lot on, on the, the, the belly of the, the, the bird. Okay, so now I'm only going to go in the primary blue. Because I want it darker. And I'm going to grab some black. And I'm going to mix it on my palette. So now I have, as you can see, 
I have the primary blue and a lot of black. Then we're going to come and tone it down. We're going to kind of add the feathers after. I kind of need to do all of those shadows before we come and do the highlight. So I'm walking it down. And here it kind of goes, it kind of ends here. So I'm coming under the belly. There's no light that hits there. And I'm coming here and coming down in kind of a V. So, and I'm going to come back here just so that you can see. And it's kind of like it's curvy here. Okay. And also I'm going to do the top of the head. My head is a little flat. But that's, I can adjust it. See, if you've made your head flat like that, I'm just going to go back into my primary blue. See, like I said, there's nothing we cannot do. We can adjust everything. So I'm going to come and I'm going to just round it. Not too, too much, but so that he doesn't look like he has a cone head. <laughs> okay. See how much better that is? And actually, I'm going to make it a tad. Oh, I picked up dry paint here. So I want to take, so I'm going to take uh, I, my true blue and a bit of the primary blue because it has a shadow in the corner here. So I'm just going to start, I'm going to readjust the head. See that, so we're not, we're not, uh, you're not stuck with what you've done. There's always, always a way to correct it. And I'll show you if I made the head too big, what to do. Okay, so now I want to deepen that shadow. I'm going to go into the primary blue, the dark blue, and a bit of the black, and work it in. But this time, I'm only going to put my shadow on the right side here and it's okay if your shadow is too dark because we're, we're gonna come and we're gonna work it okay so there's my shadow now the bird has a shadow um, it has a shadow under the throat and I'm gonna walk it out a little bit and going very lightly don't worry if yours is too dark. We're going to come and we're going to adjust. And then it has also kind of a like a dark square here. It's, I think it could be the color of the bird. Okay. There's a shadow in the neck area here. Okay. And now it's wings. Its wings are going to be like black. So we're going right into our black here. So we're going into the black. And so I'm going to start my wing um, kind of like more on, this is the upper back, okay? This is the, the upper back going down into his, the side and then the belly. So we're going on the top, and I'm kind of come into here, and I'm going to create kind of a curve. And then I'm going to make kind of a wobbly kind of curvy area here. And it's not a lot of black here. It's just the, the, the kind of like the side of his wing that we're seeing. And that's all I'm going to do. And then what we're going to do is here, there's kind of like, we're seeing feathers, but, you know, they're not, and, and you see, I'm going kind of in the semicircle, and I'm also establishing the other feathers, and I don't have, I didn't reload if you noticed, and it's just like lines and like that and the same thing here
that's that's kind of that's all we're gonna do then we're gonna add highlights in there and then here where his throat is there's kind of a little V right here not very dark but just a little V kind of here and it kind of highlighted here okay So now, we're gonna come and put some, some uh, highlights in there. So I'm gonna wash my brush, and I think I'm gonna switch actually to um, a 1-8. So a number, four, a number four flat, it's a little bit smaller. You can also, the ones that do have filbert brushes, you can also use that. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna create with my true blue and a bit of white now, I don't want it too too white to start off with too light lighter than what it was but not too much that it jumps in your face and you see white instead of a degraded blue so I'm loading and I'm gonna kind of I don't want it too too much blue so we're gonna go into that cheek area here and I'm gonna barely barely touching it and I'm gonna come down a little bit into the throat area and then I'm gonna touch it with my finger oh, touch it too hard okay now there's there's highlight a little bit on top of his head here I've I'm barely touching guys barely barely touching I'm going to zoom you in a little bit more for the head area, okay? So, like I said, just barely feather, feather light touching. So that way you're not going to make big blobs. There's highlights here. Also, same thing, ba barely touching. And I'm kind of going a little bit into uh, the area that is already there, like the darks that I've done okay and I'm coming down now I'm gonna start moving so that you can see and I'm gonna come down into the feather area very barely barely touching I don't want this too too dark this is where the the, um, the light is hitting the bird and I'm coming down as you see, like it's very little strokes and not everywhere. And the sun is hitting the edge of his body. Gonna move down. And here it's the same thing. Over the I'm not kind I'm not really hiding what is already there, my darks. But I'm going over them a a little bit. It just actually I'm uh, I am going over my, my black a little bit. So what is that doing? It's toning down the feathers instead of having it uh, right in your face. Okay. So I'm going to zoom uh, back in a little bit. Sorry if, if it shakes when I zoom in. It's only because it's on my cell phone and I won't really want you guys to see. And then we're going to go into the chest area, and we're going to start here. I haven't reloaded. Like, I have enough paint, and everything is feather light. Okay? So, and I'm kind of just making little strokes. And I'm, I'm going in and just doing little strokes. And you see, I'm, I'm, it's almost like creating... Uh, the the feathers like it's almost fur on under the belly. It's and and what I'm doing right now is I'm toning down that dark. Like I'm adding, I'm adding kind of like I'm telling that th there's color under that dark. And I'm coming in, and if we've put too much highlight, we can come back. We're not stuck there. Okay. So 
So some places I'm going to put like a, a more of a highlight. So now what I want to do um, is I'm going to tone this down. The tail. I'm going to tone down that dark of the tail. I'm going to go into my true blue. Just true blue. Just the true blue. Okay. And I'm going to tone down the tail a little bit. Make it as not as dark. Just by lightly putting in some of the true blue very lightly very see how it's less less black to me it's it's here that's all i want just tone it down a little bit okay so now back to our bird i'm gonna uh with the true blue i'm also gonna come into the throat area and kind of tone that down a little bit you know, like like it it has feathers in there, and and I'm going kind of a circle, toning it down a little bit. The only thing I'm gonna keep really black is the eye area and that wing. The rest I'm gonna kind of tone it down. All we wanted to do is establish our darks, and I'm not gonna tone it down every everywhere so that I lose it. I'm going to come and tone down this here a little bit. I'm just going to tap it. Tap it on that side. Okay. And then uh, this here. Not though I don't want to tap it too down, but I want to bring the blue in it so that it looks like it's feathers. Okay. I want to put some highlights okay so I gotta switch so now I want to put some highlights um, on on the head over here to give it the bird's head is round so here has we have to show that it's round also and the way to do that is with your highlights so I'm going into my original color my true blue and a bit of white like I said we don't want too too light we don't want it to pop too much so here I'm going to add a little bit, very gently, very lightly, and I'm going to, I'm extending it, like not very, not very hard. So now I, I'm given dimension to my, to my head, and I'm going to come here. It's a little bit, I think the highlight that I have in my paintbrush is a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter here. And on the belly area, I want it to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going into my true blue, adding a little bit more white. So because we're we're gonna come in and create, we'll see. I don't. I'll, I'll let you know if that is too light or not. So I want to come here, and I want to come kind of like that here, and. I don't like to make brush strokes all the same. So I'm kind of going like this. So see, I'm, I'm giving it another dimension. So I'm going to come here. And I'm even going to come back on here. And don't be, it's okay if you're going over your, your, uh, your wings, kind of, and go kind of, okay. And here, there's also a highlight here. That is get, telling us that it's the chest area, that the difference between the neck, the head, and kind of the neck and the chest area. So there's a little highlight here. So giving our bird the dimension. Okay, our bird's looking pretty good. My head is kind of small for the body, but I'm, I'm gonna leave it like that. So now you look under the beak, there's that white line, it kind of throws us off. I'm gonna put, look, just with, I wet my finger and look, it's gone. So it's um, it's less of in your face. So um, 
So I kind of feel, oh, we got to go put that little highlight on the eye. Like it's barely there. So we're going to take some white and we're going to, not very much, okay? And the highlight is like at the top of his eye. I don't even know if you see it. It's just, 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 just there. So I'm going to show you up close. I don't know if you can see it. Look, I barely touched it. And now we're going to come. I'm going to leave that there. We're going to put a highlight on our beak because we're almost done with the bird. So we're going to put, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to come and put a highlight. Might have gone overboard with my highlight. So nothing is not adjustable. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I went into my black. I went into my blue. So I'm going to take a bit of my black. And I'm just going to adjust the little bump that I did here. Okay. Kind of like that. And... This should be round. So that is it. So um, I think I think I'm done with my bird. So now we're gonna come and we're gonna put some blade grass on top here. So I'm gonna go back into my brown. So you're going back into your your um your dark brown, I have black on my palette, I have white on my palette, and I'm gonna zoom you out. Thank you, bro. So I'm gonna bring you here, and I'm gonna zoom you where the tail is so that we do the blades of grass on top so that you can see. So I'm loading, now I have a clean brush, but that's okay. So what I want to do, I want to take some of that brown and a tad of white so I can create dimension showing that there's some in the back. But I don't want too, too much white. Okay, so now I'm going to come and I'm going to create some grass on top. So if there's areas you didn't like, it's this perfect time to hide it. Okay, so that's all I need. I don't need much more than that. But now I'm going to go add, going to go put some black into uh, my brush. It's everything. It's a dirty brush. Make sure that my, you know, make sure that I put a little brown in it, a little brown in it. And I'm bringing in back some black. And I'm going to go in and tap. Kind of creating, hiding where I started those blades. Those blades are kind of behind. But I'm not hiding them. Oh, we need to do the feet. Birds not perched there without feet. Okay. And I also want to come up here. And do a little bit more black here. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. So I'm just going to reload some black. And I'm just going to come and tap some in. Just, and here and there. So it's giving it kind of a dimension. And I have, I have white in my brush. I picked up some white. Because I'm working with a, see, I picked up some white. So the white is on that side. I'm try I'm going to try to do it on this side. Okay. That's all I want to do. Little dots here and there of the black. So it gives me a dimension. So now we're going to come and we're going to do the feet of the bird, his claws. So uh, the claws are just black. So I'm going to load into my black. Load my black, and I'm just going to come and put some claws here. So, and it's, you know, it's kind of 
Oh, let me zoom you in into this, okay? A bit more maybe so that you can see properly. And I'm going to bring this down so that you can see it properly. So I'm, I'm loading in my black. And I'm going to the, the, the um, I call it claws there, but uh, he, it's nails kind of. And it goes in a curve and ending to nothing. Okay, and the other one um, is kind of over here. And also, it's a bit thick, going to nothing. And this one, we don't see his leg because it's kind of hiding. So what I'm going to do is here, I find there's a big space. So I'm going to take my quarter, my quarter flat brush, and I'm going to come... And I'm going to put some uh, some of the plume over here. So I'm going to take I'm going to take my brown, a little bit of white, just a tad, and I'm going to come and I'm going to create some plumes here. And then I'm going to go on top. And I'm trying not to go into my bird because the bird is on top of the plume. And I'm just going to take a tad, tad, tad of black. And I'm going to come and add it here. Okay, I went overboard with my black. So I'm going to re-add the brown just because I find it's too dark. And I'm going to blend it with my black. So see what I did? Now... The leg is, is hiding behind the plume grass. So we just fix that. So, um, guys, I think, I think we're done. So, so this is our painting today. So I hope you enjoyed this. And um, we're going to be doing more birds um, next week. Um, this is going to be our painting, a chickadee. A chickadee on an old, old trunk, uh, a broken tree, I think. And so this is what we're going to be painting next week. And I'll put on um, what we need on my site again. And I will show you before we start painting. So this is our painting, guys. And I hope you enjoyed. Have a super great day and a great weekend. Thank you, guys. Bye.